the flu virus that we're uh, dealing with so far has behaved like the uh, many flu viruses. Uh, it is easily spread, apparently. That's, we're early on here, but it appears that it's spread human to human. Uh, and it appears to be spread just like the seasonal flu. So the, your usual personal hygiene habits of frequent hand washing, some social distancing. If you need to cough, cough into a tissue and throw it out. Uh, if you don't have a tissue, you can cough into the corner of your elbow. Um, and we should keep our uh, environments clean, washing off hand uh, doorknobs and uh, keyboards and such like that. So that is the single most important way uh, for folks to protect themselves. Uh, we are very saddened this morning uh, to uh, follow up on the news that was released this morning by the Centers for Disease Control that there has been a death of a uh, child here in Houston. It uh, is important for everyone to know that while the death occurred here in Houston, the, the, this unfortunate child uh, was not a native Houstonian. Uh, this child is a resident of Mexico who uh, traveled to Brownsville, Texas uh, to visit family. Uh, it was there in Brownsville where the child first became ill, was taken to a hospital on uh, April the 13th and was admitted to the hospital in Brownsville. Uh, the patient was, became quite ill rather rapidly and was transferred the next day to a hospital here in Houston. And uh, as you know, the, uh, unfortunately, in spite of the best efforts, uh, the child uh, succumbed to the illness and the CDC uh, provided us laboratory confirmation, uh, which they announced this morning that the child did in fact, uh, was in fact infected with the swine flu virus. Uh, the household uh, contacts of that patient uh, and in particular those that are here in Houston are asymptomatic and they are well and they are being uh, looked after from a medical standpoint by professionals and so, uh, so they're being attended to as well. So that really doesn't change the landscape uh, here in Houston. We still know that the virus is here in the United States. We know that it is in Texas. We know that we need to take our own personal precautions. Uh, the city and county public health as well as the uh, state and the surrounding public health agencies are very much on top of this with very heightened surveillance. Uh, that will mean for you that we were, uh, you know, as cases come up, we're going to learn about them very quickly, which is different from the seasonal flu, which we don't, uh, which we monitor, but not with the amount of vigilance that we're getting now. So I don't think anybody needs to be confused by the amount of vigilance that we're paying to this virus versus the seasonal virus.